Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time you're here. I have been feeling in such a funk lately and I feel like I need a good revamp, you know, like you know when you have like an everything shower, like after you hit the gym, you have a nice meal, your place is clean, you're fully moisturized, you know, life is good. Life is all good. No stresses, no worries, nothing at all. I am super, super tired. I just woke up. My face is like so puffy and I'm gonna go to the gym. That's the first thing on the list. And then I need to desperately take an everything shower, starting with deep conditioning this hair and just kind of doing everything. I feel like I've just been so busy with work the last couple days and to do my usual routine, but it's all good. We're back on track. That's part of being a woman, I truly believe. You know, some days your your energy is just up there and some days your energy you're like barely trying to shuffle out of bed <laughs> guys let's go to the gym and if you guys are not subscribed feel free to do so and also like the video and your girl is super tired but that's not gonna prevent me from getting my bum to the gym and i also read this quote which actually resonated a lot and it's just been like stuck in my head since i came across it and it's so true and the quote went along the lines of you have to do what you need to do regardless of how you feel sometimes because to be honest like i'd much rather just lay on the balcony or just order takeout and just chill like watch a movie or just go to the mall <laughs> but realistically a lot of the things that are going to benefit you long term are going to require more discipline and consistency so it's just a matter of doing what you need to to get you where you need to be long term because if we all literally just did whatever we wanted for the short term, like, imagine what your life would look like five years from now, you know? It's good food for thought. I desperately need to take a shower. Ah, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. All I want right now is just like five hash browns. Crispy, crispy hash browns. <laughs> Let's get in the shower. <laughs> so guys, the first thing I do is I hop in the shower and make sure to fully saturate my hair with all the water. And since my hair is very, very blonde, it takes a while for my hair to get really saturated. And then I go in with a Wella Fusion Plex shampoo. I love this shampoo because it gets super foamy. And one thing about me is I will be scrub a dub dubbing my scalp in the shower. <laughs> it is not a shower until the scalp is fully, fully clean. And then I'll go ahead and double shampoo just to make sure all the oil and buildup is out of my hair. And then I will squeeze most of the water out of my hair, not being too rough, because I will then go in with purple shampoo. This one is Bust Your Brass by Amika. I just try to fully coat it all over my scalp and even the bottoms of my hair. And while the purple shampoo sits, I'll just go in and shave. I'm using the Tree Hot Moroccan Rose Shave Oil, which smells amazing. I literally have this scent in a body lotion too, and I'm just obsessed with it. And then I'll go ahead and shave. After I'm fully done shaving, I just rinse the purple shampoo out. And then I will go in with the Moroccan Oil Repair Mask. I never condition my hair in the shower. I always opt for a moisturizing mask. And then I'll go in with the First Aid KP Bump Eraser. And then I'll just go in with a foot scrubber with some body lotion just to make sure my feet are extra, extra clean. And then I will go in with a Tree Hut Green Tea Body Scrub, which also smells very, very nice. And this is like a first layer before I will go in with the more heavy-duty exfoliation. 
And to be honest, this body wash smells amazing. It's coconut oil and this smells divine. I picked it up from Winners. And then I just go on with a loofah, making sure to really, really get into my elbows, my knees, my back, everywhere that your skin may be a little bit more rough. And then I'll go in with the Summer's E Feminine Wash just to top everything up. And so once I'm out of the shower, I'll go in with the CeraVe SA Lotion, which kind of exfoliates the skin, making sure there's no little razor bumps or small bumps on your forearm or anywhere else you feel like it. It just kind of regenerates the skin, which is always a plus. And then I'll go in with the microfiber hair wrap just to make sure that my hair is not too wet, making sure to not rub my hair in any towel because that will really really do some damage and my absolute favorite part is going in with q-tips this part always hits i cannot be showered until this is done and then i was debating on which deodorant to go for and i went with the donna Karan one and then i mixing the vaseline coconut spray with the avino avino body oil just to make sure that your my skin is very moisturized right out of the shower that's when your pores are more open. And then, of course, the Holy Grail, Sol de Janeiro. It smells amazing. I will never, ever get sick of the scent. I don't even understand how that is possible. It's like one of those scents that is all year round. And I really like to put some on my neck, too, because that way I can smell it. And then I'll go in with the Pureology 21 Multitasking Leave-In Spray. This one's a really great one because I feel like I feel like it doesn't weigh my hair down. Making sure to get it in every layer. And then I'll go in with the Redken Acidic Bonding Leave-In. Smells amazing. And I'll mix that in with the Moroccan Oil Light. Because the original one is a little bit too heavy for my hair type. And that is basically all for like the leave-in treatments. And then I'll just go ahead and brush with a wet brush very, very gently. And my hair is super, super stubborn. In the front, my parting does not sit unless I literally have to clip it down. So what I do is I find my middle parting and then I'll go in with, little, with a little clip just to make sure that my hair will stay down. Because if the clip is not there, I have no straight hairline. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know what, what's happened. And then I will be dermaplaning my face. I'll go in with the hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. And then men's razors are so much better than the, the, the female ones because they just, they get the job done. And one thing I really like doing is I like going over my nose now because I feel like it gets rid of more of the dead skin and then helps with blackheads too. And just overall texture, it makes your whole makeup sit so, so smoothly. I honestly recommend this to every single person out there that wears makeup because it truly is life-changing. And uh, your girl just feeling up any spots. <laughs> and now I washed my face and I'm just going to go in with a little mask from the from Innisfree. This is the Volcanic Ash one just to give myself a little TLC. I really like this mask because it's one of those masks that change color once it's fully dry. So it's not like you definitely know when this thing is ready to be washed off. So after the mask is, is dry, I just rinse my face and I go in with the Beauty of Jozon Ginseng Toner. Making sure to pat that all around and everywhere. And then I'll go in with the Cozarex BHA Blackhead, the Blackhead Remover, which is a nice exfoliant because I am so sick and tired of my blackheads on my nose. They're super visible. So I'm just trying to do all I can to make them go away. Then I'll go in with another layer of the ginseng water. I really like this one because it's very hydrating on the skin. And I'll just let everything set in and soak up into my skin. And then I'll go in with the Glow Recipe BHA Glow Toner. I never get sick of this toner. It's like it just brings all of the good qualities of healthy looking skin out. And then I'm going to mix the snail mucin with the dew drops from the glow recipe just to give an overall brighter and more glowy complexion to the face. I really like the way these two products feel together. And then I'll just slightly massage my face. Do you guys see that glow popping? Yeah, it's definitely popping. And then I'll go in with some Crest White Strips, which I honestly don't do 
too often, maybe about three, four times a year. And if you're somebody that has sensitive teeth, it's always good to cut the strip in half and just place it on the, the outer side of your teeth to make sure that it's not going to create any sensitivity. And then yeah. I'll go in with the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I really like this one. It just soaks into the skin. Being very gentle with the under eye area. And then the Holy Grail Emberlease Cream. I love, love, love this one. This is my second tube of it. This is such a multitasking cream. It's amazing. And then I will just blow dry my hair, straighten it, and just do my makeup and that is basically all i do to make sure that i am clean i am hairless i am moisturized i'm smelling good i'm feeling good that's all for today i really hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below